configuring secondary IP addresses on an interface on a Cisco router. So if you have a situation in which uh, you need to connect more IP hosts or clients to a network segment and you have used up all of the available IP host addresses for the subnet to which you have assigned the segment for the sub subnet to which you have assigned the subnet uh, you can actually avoid uh, having to readdress all the hosts all of the hosts with a different subnet by adding a second IP network address to the to the network segment so this is a summary steps that actually uh, it's actually uh, not so hard to configure uh, IP secondary IP addresses on a on an interface so this is the summary steps that I got from cisco.com so enable configure terminal of course the interface no shot the primary IP address and then secondary IP address IP address so the keyword is the secondary at the end and of course end and save so I actually created a uh, diagram so this is a very simple diagram I have a router R1 uh, it's acting as a uh, DNS sorry DHCP server and um, I have a switch uh, this is just acting as a layer 2 switch and I have three Ubuntu uh, computers that are directly connected to this switch switch one so as you can see here um, let me just go to the console of the of R1 and obviously I already checked this um, uh, earlier so let me just do show IP interface brief so as you can see um, I have 192.168.1.1 assigned to fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 and that is the that is the primary IP address so that is this IP address <clears throat> but you don't say primary right uh, a router knows uh, that this is the primary IP address so let me go back to to the summary steps here so like I said the configuration is very easy uh, just have to do that and then IP address just uh, see if I can actually create and then secondary that's it oops bad mask that's it done so if I do show run F0 uh, slash 0 I have all these secondary IP addresses and of course like I said earlier this uh, this router R1 is also acting as a it's also running DHCP services or running as a DHCP server so this is the pool DHCP pool and this is the uh, network range or yeah net yeah, network range and of course the default router is the IP address that is assigned to the or the primary IP addresses IP address that is assigned to fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 and I'm just excluding uh, these IP addresses so from dot, dot 250 through dot 254 and that's it that's all uh, that's all that that's all that I did on the router itself so let me
me just do that again, that command again. <clears throat> so let me just. So I don't have. I don't have 192, I don't need 192.168.4.1 because uh, there is no, uh, looking at the topology or diagram, there is no user in that subnet. So I can actually go ahead and just remove that. No. Oops. Mouse is acting up again. 168.4.1.255.255.255.0 secondary. I just have to remove it. Then do the same command again. Okay, done. Save. So Ubuntu One is actually uh, getting its IP, its IP address via DHCP. So again, if you are going to check the pool, the pool is this, 192.168.0, I mean .1.0, and that is the subnet where Ubuntu One belongs to. So it's, it's got a .14. I mean 192.168.1.14, so same subnet. But the rest, uh, Ubuntu 2 and Ubuntu 3, uh, are ac actually have static IP addresses. So, and Ubuntu 2 belongs to 192.168.2.0 slash 24 subnet, one of the secondary IPs here, and Ubuntu 3 belongs to 192.168.3.0/24. So let me actually go ping these uh, hosts. 192.168.1.4. I cannot ping it, so I guess. Uh, I guess. I guess. Uh, it does have a different IP address. Let me just do show IP ARP. Yeah, I think it now, now has a dot five actually. And we can verify that by just doing IP IF config. Yeah, dot five as you can see here. So let me ping that five one sixty eight dot one dot five. I can ping it. And uh, Ubuntu two is dot two dot two. I can ping it as well. And Ubuntu three is dot three dot two, and I can ping it as well. So show ARP again. So this is Ubuntu one, Ubuntu two and Ubuntu 3. Let, me ch let us check uh, R1 routing table. So as you can see, um, this is the primary IP address, and this is one of the secondary IP addresses, .2.0 and .3.0. So they are all assigned to fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. Okay, that's it actually. Um, here, this is basically how I assigned, um, statically assign, assigned the uh, IP address of Ubuntu 2 and Ubuntu 3. So you have to basically use this command and then comment the following this here and assign the correct IP settings. So this is Ubuntu 3.3.2. And the gateway is that 3.1. So you have to do the same for Ubuntu 2 uh, as well. And this is, of course, the website or the link that I got this uh, procedure from. 
so yep that's it um, I just wanted to see this for myself because I, I never done this before actually so now I I have more understanding of how uh, secondary IP addresses work so yeah that's it in this video thanks for watching